Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss how to optimize your Kubernetes clusters and workloads in a cost-effective way without compromising the performance and reliability of your workloads. The content creator for this video is Samara Kasa, who is a technical accounts manager for Google Cloud. He curated the information for you to have a deeper understanding of optimizing your Kubernetes clusters and workloads for reliability and cost efficiency. Let's dive in. Cost optimization is commonly misinterpreted as a one-time process focused on reducing costs. However, it is an ongoing journey that needs to be constantly reviewed and updated. Building a cost optimization culture and routine into your organization can help you balance performance, reliability, and cost. This in turn will give your team and business a competitive edge, helping you focus on innovation. The better the team understands the challenges, consequences, and best practices related to cost optimization, the better the cost savings will be. However, executing cost optimization recommendations has proven to be challenging, especially when cloud-native platforms, such as Kubernetes, are taken into account. Many teams have not worked with pay-as-you-go services, so they may not be familiar with how resource allocation, demand-based scaling, and application deployment processes can affect their costs. For example, resource waste caused by over-provisioning clusters and workloads without considering the actual needs of an application. Application reliability and performance issues due to not setting the resource requests or setting them too small. And the inability to scale down Kubernetes clusters due to workloads or cluster configurations that block cluster auto-scaling. These are just some of the issues our customers frequently encounter and they are great opportunities to control costs. Overcoming these issues can be challenging, especially in Kubernetes, because Kubernetes is a complex, distributed system with many features, and when used incorrectly, it can lead to reliability and performance issues and increase costs. But don't worry. After several years of iterating over numerous metrics and feedback from our customer engagements, we have identified the golden signals that allow you to continuously deliver business value by running reliable, performant, and cost-efficient applications on Kubernetes clusters on any cloud platform. The golden signals are divided into two categories, resources and discounts. App developers and platform administrators are responsible for the resource optimizations, while platform administrators and budget owners are responsible for the discount optimizations. Note that roles within each organization may differ. The first signal in the resource category is workload right sizing. Workload right sizing is comparing requested resources to actual utilization and understanding whether developers are using the resources they requested for their applications. These steps ensure that the resources aren't over or under provisioned. To reduce resource waste and avoid intermittent issues with performance and reliability, resource requests must be set appropriately by understanding your application capacity requirements. The second signal is scaling down the cluster during off-peak hours. To save money during low-demand periods, such as nighttime or during times of the day where traffic to your application is lower, your clusters should be able to scale down with demand. It is important to remember that scaling down a cluster is a shared responsibility between developers and platform teams. If developers don't scale down their workloads, platform teams' ability to scale down a cluster is limited. On the other hand, if developers manage to scale down their workloads during off-peak hours, platform admins can fine-tune the cluster auto-scaling properties to meet application demand. The third golden signal is bin packing. Bin packing is making sure you're requesting the appropriate machine type and properly packing the pods deployed in your environment. Cluster bin packing is another shared responsibility between developers and platform teams, where both should collaborate to find the appropriate machine shape to better fit the workloads. Last but not least, discounts. Most of the public cloud providers offer spot VMs and continuous use discount options. Adopting these pricing models will offer significant cost reductions to your Kubernetes clusters. You now know the four golden signals for running reliable, performant, and cost-efficient applications on Kubernetes clusters. We hope you found this video helpful. Check out the links in the description to learn more about optimizing your Kubernetes workloads on GKE clusters. In other videos, you learn about the importance of setting appropriate resource requests for workloads 
and how to right size your workloads. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out our special report on the state of Kubernetes cost optimization, which is a cloud agnostic quantitative research study based on anonymized real world usage data. The report examines how Kubernetes capabilities and signals can help identify key areas you should prioritize to achieve greater reliability and cost efficiency. Check the description for the link.